Death is a sad event everywhere in the world. The loss of a loved one is always hard to deal with, which is why most funerals are a somber affair to show the ones left behind that they are not alone. But there are some cultures which have some strange rituals for the departed. Let's take a look at some of them. Number 18. Funeral Strippers, Taiwan If someone wants people to not be too sad at their funeral, what can they do? Simple. Hire strippers. In Taiwan, there is a ritual among some of the people of hiring showgirls for funerals who strip and dance. Apparently, this is done to appease the wandering spirits, though there may be more than a few living people who would be happy with it. While it is seen as scandalous in many quarters, there is no denying that it does make a funeral less sad. Number 17. Burial Beads, South Korea South Korea is a small country and it has space issues, so much so that the government has asked people to remove those who have been dead for over 60 years from their graves. And while that's a difficult thing to deal with, many families opt for a cremation. But there are some who have taken a different route. Various companies have started a service where they compress the remains of the dead into beads and give them to the family members who then hang it in their homes. And what's more is that these beads come in different colors like black, pink, and turquoise. Well, whatever color they may be, it still amounts to hanging a dead body in the house. Creepy. Number 16. The Heart in Diamond, USA most of us look for a token of our loved ones who have passed away to keep them with us forever. And that's why a company in USA has come up with a unique venture. They take part of the deceased, like a hair or an ash, and preserve it inside a diamond. It gives the family members a chance to keep them around for longer, and even displaying it in a beautiful way. And you can even order bands to keep these tokens as a ring. Wonder if a girl will say yes if you proposed with a ring made from the dead. Number 15. Sati, India this hideous practice has now thankfully been banned, but in ancient India, it was customary for the wife of a deceased person to accompany her husband on the funeral pier. And since Hindus believe in cremating the dead, it meant self-immolation for the woman. And while it was technically a voluntary act, not doing so was considered a grievous offense, and many were even dragged to the fire. Number 14. Fama Dahana, Madagascar. Well, if you thought dead and buried would be your last destination, think again. At least, if you happen to be buried in Madagascar. There's a ritual there called the Fama Dahana, or turning of the bones, where family members take their loved ones out of the grave and re-wrapping them in fresh clothes before burying them back again. And that's not the only thing they do. There's also live music, and the family members dance with the remains before putting it back again. Guess they do believe in life after death. Number 13. Strangulation, Fiji. No one would want one of their close friends or relatives to die, but in Fiji, it's even more so because there was a tradition which involved killing someone close to the one who've died so that they would not have to face death alone. Now that is a fearsome thought to have. Number 12. Hanging Coffins, China. Everyone wants to go to heaven after they're dead, but then there are some folks in China who took it a step too far or too high. It was custom to take the coffin of the dead high up onto the mountain and then leave it dangling from the edge. The reason was that they believed that if the coffins were close to the sky, then the dead would be closer to heaven. And while this custom was followed in the ancient days, some of the coffins can still be seen today. Number 11. Memorial Reef, USA While it is usually a better idea to leave the dead alone, USA has come up with an interesting practice where they compress the dead into a sphere and attach it to a reef under the sea. It's a pretty green way to go, since it contributes to the sea life habitat and is a perfect last gift for someone who loved the sea. But then there just might be fish nibbling at you later on. Number 10. Endocannibalism, Brazil while this one was also practiced in other places like Papua New Guinea, the Wari people in Brazil believed that the best way to go was to help others. So they believed in eating the dead. Known as endocannibalism, this feast was to build a stronger connection between the living and the dead. Thankfully, it is not known to be practiced now. Number 9. Sky Burials, Tibet Why would you want to waste away your flesh when you can use it to feed animals? That is exactly what the Tibetan Buddhists believe in. They cut up their dead into small pieces and leave it for the animals. In fact, sometimes they don't even bother with the chopping and let the bodies be for the vultures to feed on. 
And while it may sound awful, Buddhists actually do not believe in commemorating a dead body and consider it just an empty vessel. And this ritual has been in place for thousands of years, and still, almost 80% of the Tibetan Buddhists practice this ritual. Number 8. Vikings Of all the brutal funeral traditions, this one takes the cake. When a Viking chieftain died, he was given a temporary burial of 10 days, while new clothes were made for him. And during that time, one of his slave girls would have to volunteer to do a parting ritual. She would go from tent to tent to have sex with every man in the village, after being given massive amounts of alcohol. The men would tell the slave girl to tell her master what all they did for their love for him. Then, she was taken to a tent where six men had sex with her before she was strangled by rope and stabbed by the village matriarch. Then, she would be placed with her master on a wooden ship before they were set alight. Number 7. Finger Amputation, Papua New Guinea There's a lot of pain associated with death, even for the ones still alive, but mostly it's the mental kind. Unless you happen to be one of the Dani people in West Papua New Guinea where every person related to the dead had to cut off their fingers. Well, not everyone, just the women and children. It is believed that the physical pain would gratify and drive away the evil spirits. The amputation was conducted with an axe, and the chopped off part would be dried and burnt to ashes. Thankfully, this has now been banned. Number 6. Smoked Bodies, Papua New Guinea Seems like Papua New Guinea is the place for weird after-death rituals. The Anga people of Asiki have a weird and kind of creepy ritual where they actually smoke the bodies of the dead before hanging them in cages of bamboo. The effect is creepy as the flesh turns red and their position is like crouching on the sides of the cliff where the cages are kept. It is believed that this makes them look over the people of the village and protect them from harm. And if they consider any tourists harm, then it's pretty successful because the hanging red and dead bodies tend to scare people off. Number 5. Mortuary Rites, Australia The Aboriginal death rites are actually pretty intense. They kept the body of the dead on top of a raised platform covered with leaves and branches for months until it's decomposed. And in some cases, they even collected the liquid from the decaying corpse and applied it on young men so they would get the virtues of the departed. Yuck! Once decayed, the bones would be collected and painted with red ochre, and then placed in a cave. But if the relatives so wanted, they could keep a bone as a token. Number 4. Santhara, India The Jains are pretty hardcore. They believe in not harming anyone, and some of them even cover their mouths throughout their lives so that they do not accidentally swallow a fly. But there is nothing as surprising as the Santhara. They believe that once their life purpose has been served, they should look for spiritual purification, which they do by fasting to death. View it either as voluntary suicide or self-euthanasia, but if you are Jane and decide to intervene, you will probably be ostracized from the community. Number 3. Fantasy Coffins, Ghana When you go, go in style. That holds true for Ghana, where a death is a time for mourning as well as celebrating the life, which is why many prefer a fantasy coffin as the final resting place. Carpenters make this coffin in a variety of shapes to reflect the person's life and their status. So if you kind of sucked in life, don't be surprised if you end up in a butt-shaped coffin. Number 2. Mortuary Totem Poles, America The Haida people in American Northwest do put up a lot of totem poles in their areas, and it's more than just a decoration. Normally when a person dies, they are thrown into a mass grave where animals are allowed to feed on them. But when a chieftain, shaman, or important warrior dies, it becomes an ever messier affair. The body is crushed to pulp by clubs until it can fit into a wooden box. The box would then be put on top of a totem pole in front of the deceased's longhouse, and the icons on the totem would act as guides on the spirit's journey into the afterlife. So the next time you think of reaching for that box on a totem pole, know that it contains a dead person. Number 1. Funeral Clowns, Europe Now, funerals are sad affairs, but they don't really have to be. That's why in Europe, many families actually hire clowns to come and entertain the mourners during a funeral. Known as funeral clowns, these clowns bring with them water balloons and squirting flowers just to ensure that the mood is not overly heavy. Just imagine someone giving a farewell speech which is getting everyone down. 
What better way than a loud fart sound to cheer everyone up? If you know of any funeral rites that are as bizarre as these, do let us know in the comments below. And do remember to subscribe to our channel to get updates on our latest videos.